the greatest hip hop album, one of one of greatest hip hop albums ever by white boys. License to Ill, the craziest album ever. No disrespect to Eminem because Eminem and Dre did some some work, for yeah. but that License to Ill, man. When you hear that, oh, here's a little story about the town. Three young brothers that you know That's so well, well, man. And when you hear that beat play backwards, backwards. it yeah. drove Missy yeah. Elliott crazy that she had to sample it for, for if it's worth getting then she had yeah. to sample it for it. That zoom, 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 zoom. You hear that in the club and people whopping, man. It's and then, of course, No Sleep to Brooklyn. Um, um, they had crazy joints on the album. That mm-hmm. had to be one of the, I mean, Rick Rubin did his, his thing on that album. Like with the BCs. And the, and the BCs were, they were a band. They were a grunge punk band. Right. But when they saw Crash Crew and flashing them at CBG, they was like, no, we need to do that. And they did it. And that's where it came from. That's, yeah, because people, I keep talking to people who think they, I don't say they don't know the history. But when they start talking about, oh, white people, the, the, the white people got into hip hop doing with Shoot Dog. No, white people, were, they were digging hip hop when those cats were doing it. Bondi is a perfect example. She rapped about it and told you. You know what I'm saying? Who? Somebody said, I, I don't know where I got it from. Maybe you could probably find it later. Somebody said, this such and such was the first rap group to ever play Saturday Night Live. I can't remember who the group was. But the first group to first rap group to ever play Saturday Night Live was Funky Four Plus One More. They were the first. Who did they say it was? I can't remember. I got I got to look for somebody was on social media asking. No, they were saying the first rap group to ever play Saturday Night Live. I can't remember the name they said. And I was like, how? Did... Was it Run DMC? No, no, no. It was somebody else. And I'm like, how y'all gonna say that? Funky Four was the first one because Blondie was booked on Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live mm. to perform. La la la. What are you the glass? That was what's that record she had? Heart of Heart Glass. Of glass. Mm-hmm. She said, mm-hmm. I don't want to perform Heart of Glass. She said, I want to show you something I'm seeing in these clubs with these groups. She said, I'll do Saturday Night Live if you let them perform. Mm. And they performed. Funky Four Plus One More. They were the first group, rap group ever. Four plus one. Yeah, on Saturday Night Live. Yep. Oh, exactly. Yep. Salute. 1981. Yep. I still want to know who they, who the group was. The group I can't remember. I got to find who, who, it was a post right. I saw. It's hosted by Blondie. It's hosted by Blondie. Mm-hmm. And she said, I'm not going to perform. Because Hold of Glass was already a big record. She didn't need to perform that anymore. She said, I've been seeing something in, the, in this club with CBGBs. She said, I've been seeing something in the club and you got to see these groups and blah, 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 blah. And she said, I'll host Saturday Night Live and do the skits if you let this, this group perform. And it's documentary. It's a shame CBGBs is going. Yeah. I would have I swore they would have landmarked that spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. came out of there. But you know what happened? Hip hop happened. Hip hop happened. Hip hop destroyed everything. Hip hop destroyed rock and roll. Hip hop destroyed grunge. Hip hop destroyed rock. It was like y'all, y'all don't have yeah. Blink One Eighty Two. You could. The reason why you want to do a record with Jay Z is because it's hip hop. They could have CBGBs could have transitioned. I remember they had battles in the basement. Ralph McDaniel's hosted a couple of things. Like yeah, they but that. But them. but 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 the problem with that was. CBGB's was really a grunge club. A grunge rock club. It wasn't really about hip hop. And a, a hardcore rock right. club. But they, they was fair and said, well, you know, you guys could have the seven o'clock. Mm-hmm. If it's going to make a little bit of money, what they doing in the Bronx? Have them come down here. And people came down. Mm-hmm. You know, the CBGB's, yeah, we'll go see Flash and, 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 and Cold Crush and we'll go down there. And then, you know, it didn't pack the place, but it made a little money. Mm-hmm. It was a grunge club. After, um, what's my man name? I met him one time and I was hurt when he killed himself. Uh, no, 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 no. Kirk Bang. Bang. Kirk Bang. Oh, man. When they happened and then after that, oh, hip hop murdered grunge. The Ramones came out of CBJ. Yep. All these yep. legendary rock groups played that spot. Hip hop murdered. Came NWA, Snoop Dogg, Tupac. Keep the name them all. They murdered it. You couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't get a grunge act to break on MTV. Wow. You couldn't get them. They had to do corny poppy records. Let's love, small world. <laughs> you had to get them to do those yeah. mm-hmm. to get on MTV. Other than that, 
do a combination with a rapper. Yeah, we'll do we'll do a unplug with Jay Z, Blink One Eighty Two, or whatever a record. You're welcome, Jay Z. I'm gonna keep saying that because y'all don't know. <laughs> y'all don't, and I'm not dissing Jay Z. I'm just saying you're welcome because when we started doing it with the B52s and the Red Hot Chili Peppers and Living Color, people just thought like, that's ridiculous. Like, so you didn't like Rockbox or King of Rock? But King of Rock and Rockbox and Walk This Ring was already done. Everybody right. was in the BDP mode. Everybody was in the Ever Being Rockin' mode. Everybody was in the Big Daddy K mode. There was no rockin' rap, no Run DMC. You were the pitter of it. It ends there. Right. We was like, well, we want to work with these guys. So you welcome, Jay-Z, all of y'all. See, wow. see what we did? I still We stood up for it. So th- what year is this? When what? When all of that was happening yeah. of Stet Sonic when we was producing all of that? that was eight that was that was 90, 91. 91. 91. Okay. So let's fast forward. We to- had just went to Africa and we came back from Africa. I'll tell you about that too later, but meeting Nelson Mandela was the if I died back then, you I would have been happy. But anyway, go ahead, go, ahead, go, ahead, go. Ahead. Right. All right. 93. Mm-hmm. So when you started Flavor Videos? I started Flavor I started Flavor Videos in 93. Prior to Flavor Videos, the show, I, I, the show was called AHV, American Hot Videos. And I had a partner. Her name was Rosie G. She was a white girl. Italian girl. She was Italian. Mm-hmm. The Italian people don't like to be called white. What do you mean we're white? So, Italian girl. That's what they say. I don't know. I, I got nothing. I, uh, I come across it. I, I, I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> so I used to do it with her. Right. Um, she had gotten to a uh, cab accident. And the guy who was, who was doing the show at the time had a problem with the owner at the station, which was a PBS station, a, I mean, a Metro Access station. And so he quit. He went to Miami. He just said, fuck it. So there was no use for it no more. So the guy who owned the station knew that this hip hop thing is generating people to watch and listen to this music. He was a German dude. Right. All he had was psychic readers. <laughs> he had psychic readers that would stay there and just take phone calls all day or people would take phone calls, mm-hmm. whatever. He said, but yo, he said, that thing you was doing with Jack, his name was Jack. Think you was doing with Jack? You think you would want to do that again some more? And I said, Yeah, I'll do it. Why? Well, what you got in mind? He said, Well, look, I'm looking for you to do whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. I said, Well, look, let me do a video show. It's hot for trap trapper turn smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you heard.